Hello, this is Chef John from FoodWishes.com with fried stuffed squash blossoms. This was one of the most delicious things I've eaten in a long time, and I really hope you have access to squash blossoms wherever you happen to live. Of course, if you have a garden and you planted zucchini, you will have an abundance of squash blossoms. So there they are, gorgeous, beautiful squash blossoms. I believe these are from zucchini, but I can't confirm that. All right, so step one here, we're gonna blanch the squash blossoms in some boiling salted water. So bring some water to a boil on the stove. You're also gonna to wanna to have a bowl of very cold water to throw the squash blossoms in as soon as they come out of the boiling water. So when the water's boiling, throw your squash blossoms in and we're only gonna do this for about 30 seconds or so, maybe 45. All right, so this is kinda almost real time, although I did a little bit of editing. So basically, we're just wilting them very slightly so that we're able to stuff them. So as soon as they look like that, which again is only gonna be about a half a minute, plunge those into your ice water or very, very cold water, and when they're completely chilled, remove to paper towels to drain. So while our squash blossoms are draining, we're gonna go ahead and make our stuffing, which is basically a goat cheese filling. So I have room temperature goat cheese, nice and soft. I'm gonna add an egg yolk, and then a little bit of grated, sharper style cheese. Now I'm using a sheep's milk cheese called Ardi Gazna, I believe it's how it's pronounced. But you could use anything like a Gruyere, or a cheddar, or even a manchego. All right, I'm also gonna give it a little bit of black pepper and some cayenne. And I'm gonna stir that until completely smooth, and that is our filling. Transfer that into a heavy-duty plastic bag. We're gonna do the old trick where you snip off the end there and make like a little piping bag. All right, you've seen us do that before, right? Okay, so once the filling's done and in the bag, we are going to stuff our now-drained squash blossoms. So at the bottom, at the base here, we're gonna have a little bit of an opening, a little bit of a cavity you can kind of see down in there. So that's where most of the stuffing's gonna go. So you want to put your piping bag or your plastic bag with the cutoff tip all the way to the bottom, pipe in about a tablespoon, and then use the petals, which are now very soft and easy to work with. We're going to drape the petals over any exposed cheese filling. And it doesn't look like it when you first start, but there's going to be enough to cover beautifully. See that? And just fold any excess back. All right, one more time. Stick your piping bag or in our case, our plastic bag with the cutoff tip, all the way to the base, squeeze in about a tablespoon into the opening, and then carefully fold those delicate petals over any openings until covered. And you're always gonna have a couple extra petals, which you're just gonna wanna fold back over like that. So really not that hard. All right, those are gonna go in the fridge until we're ready. We want those very firm when we dip them in the batter. All right, so those go in the fridge. Speaking of batter, could not be easier. Cornstarch, self-rising flour, and water. And by the way, let this be a lesson to you. Do not be stubborn in the kitchen. That bowl was too small. I realized it as soon as I added the flour. So I switched to a bigger bowl. All right, to the cornstarch and self-rising flour, we're gonna add some ice cold water. Now I'll give you measurements on the site, of course, but the water, there's not really a measurement. I just add a little bit at a time until we have a mixture that's basically the same consistency as a pancake batter. All right, you can see it right there. Next, I'm gonna put about an inch of vegetable oil in a heavy duty pan. I'm using cast iron here, and I'm gonna get it nice and hot. If you're going by temperature, about 350. You can test it with a little piece of batter. All right, so that's ready. I'm gonna take out my squash blossoms. I'm gonna dust them lightly with flour on all sides. That's gonna help the batter stick, all right? And after they're dusted, I'm gonna dip them into my batter. You can again see that consistency. You want it just like that. Let it drip off and quickly, carefully place them in your hot oil. I'm just doing three here because I gotta film it and work at the same time, but you could probably do six in this pan easily. And these are only gonna take a couple minutes. So on the first side, I went about a minute. I flipped it, and because of the way the batter flattens out a little bit, you're basically gonna get three sides, not two. So I flipped it once, I went another minute, I flipped it onto that third side, and went about, I don't know, maybe half a minute. They really do cook quickly. I'm gonna remove those to a paper towel to drain. Of course, we're gonna let these cool for a few minutes so you don't burn your guests. 
And are those gorgeous or what? So beautiful. So once those have cooled a little bit, we're going to transfer those to a plate. And then, oh man, it's time to dig in. And it's really almost impossible to describe how amazing these are. All right, I know, fried stuffed flowers. Can you believe it? But just amazing. That tangy goat cheese. All right, that little bit of extra sharp cheese we have in there. The egg yolk kind of tightens it up a little bit, but not too much. Adds a little richness. And that batter, so simple, so light, crisp, but not oily. Just really, really beautiful. So anyway, like I said, I really hope you can find some squash blossoms near you. This is such a treat. And by the way, when people are like, hey, what are we having? You can say, cheese stuffed reproductive organs, which is, you know, always a great conversation starter. So anyway, I really hope you give this a try. All the ingredients are on foodwishes.com, as usual. And as always, enjoy. Enjoy.